Welcome to www.knowwhatforyou.com Hello, today's presentation is about the Cornet ED25 RF and Magnetic Field Meter. The Cornet ED25 meter is a simple to use radio frequency and magnetic field meter. It can measure radio frequency signals between 100 MHz and 3 GHz and low frequency magnetic fields from 50 Hz to 10,000 Hz. It comes with a full user manual that explains how to use the meter. In the RF mode it measures peak power levels from 1.5 microwatt per square meter to 0.58 watt per square meter. In the magnetic mode it can measure from 1 milligauss to 500 milligauss. It's powered by a 9 volt battery. I recommend that you use rechargeable ones. It has an internal RF antenna on the left side and the LFE sensor on the right side. The two operational buttons will allow you to control the ED25 and the LCD is very detailed. The following displays appear in RF mode. In the left side of the LCD you will find the current measurement in the selected units. There is a strength bar on the lower side. To the right side of the LCD you will find the LED power bar that shows the current level. On the right side of the LCD you will find the histogram that shows the last 32 measurements since power up. The following displays appear in magnetic mode. In the left side of the LCD you will find the current measurement in the selected units. Below it you will see the max value measured since power up. To the right side of the LCD you will find the LED power bar that shows the current level. On the right side of the LCD you will find the histogram that shows the last 32 measurements since power up. Push the power on off button and the meter will be turned on. The meter wakes up in RF mode. Push the upper operation button to switch to magnetic mode. Push again to switch back to RF mode. Push the hold button to freeze the display. Push the hold button again to unfreeze. In order to resume the backlight, push the hold button and then push the upper operation button once. Push the hold button again to unfreeze. The RF source was just turned on and the meter shows the levels of the RF signal. Please pay attention to the way that the RF levels are shown in each part of the meter display. The level is about 0.9 mW per square meter and a look at the histogram shows it started a while ago. The RF source was just turned off and the meter shows that the level is back to zero. The following measurement is in magnetic mode. Please pay attention to the way that the magnetic field levels are shown in each part of the meter's display. The clock's motor creates a pulse magnetic field of 2.5 microtelsa, which is 25 milligrams. For additional info, please visit our website www.knowwhatforyou.com, our YouTube channel, our English blog, our Hebrew blog. Please join us on Facebook and Twitter. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.